you can start sharing your screen if you can hear me. Uh, can you hear me, sir? Yes. Okay. Okay. Did you manage to do it? Uh, no, it's just I because I cannot find the symbol, the factors. Is it uh, getting you an error? Yeah, uh, because uh, when I do my if statement with uh -huh. the like the integer factor, uh huh, it's a uh, cannot find the symbol. Okay, because I didn't. That you not you are not calling the factors method factors two method correctly. So oh. you have to call the method correctly. When you call a method, make sure that you mention the name of the method, the two brackets. And you pass uh, an input if it is expecting an input. If you didn't do that, he will tell I, you, I, I, I cannot find. You did? Okay. Let me see. Yeah. Okay. So now, uh, is prime, what is line number 163 doing? Calling the, the factors two. So it's calling this. Uh... Okay, method. and when you get a return from that factors two, where do you store that return? So when a, when a method is called and it returns a value, unless you save a value, unless you save the value that is returned from the method, it goes out of the memory without being recorded. So here, right. so factors, you cannot see it here. That is totally out. When you call that and it finished right. here, uh-huh. Okay. So I need just a value for this, maybe just put like uh put anything just put uh down but I need this to be uh two. It was to be weird. Oh, I didn't know. Uh... Okay. Oh, I didn't know. Uh... Okay, uh, you okay. you have done a good step, but it's, you you're not done yet. Yeah, the, the is prime is required to return true or false. Will this work? Yes, you are on the correct way. Yes. Okay. When you are returning true or false, the return type have to be exactly yes. Oh, yeah, I forgot I need to. Uh... Okay. You okay. are excellent, but but um, now this is prime method cannot work for every number. It can only work uh, for 47 that you have to key in in this way. Suppose the correct way yeah. is that you, when you define is prime, you make it take an input. So the input, so you pass it 47, for example, and then it will mm. pass it, it will pass it here. So you have so to why, uh -huh. why don't I just put it here? You can't because is prime is prime supposed to work with every number. So you pass it a number, then it will pass any number that you're giving here to to factors. We cannot okay. keep keying in uh, the number inside the definition. Typically, we should not change. 
we make inputs so that we can pass anything to the method. Yeah. No, no, no. You don't have to pass it in this way. Oh, okay. You, okay. you can you can just define integer num inside here. Okay. Okay. And this and then num, I don't need it here. Yes. So okay. Now my question is this hmm. needs an input. What is the input yeah. that is going to pass to here? Sorry, num. Yes, excellent. Okay. okay. Now now it works. Yeah. Okay. Now we will move, don't don't move from here. I will pass you the next step. The next step is another okay. exercise that also make use of what you have done at the moment. Give me a second. Okay. Now see this one. Okay. This one is called a uh, count primes. This count primes accept an integer as a parameter n and returns the number of primes from two to n. You must call is prime. So it means that this count primes mm. is another method that um that should have um, that should tell me uh, how many primes in a number and the okay. number of primes is having a condition so you should not check from one you should start checking from two until n n is a number that you pass it to the count primes so the first thing is before you start complicating yourself with any of the details, write the method first. Write this, start with a bare definition of the method. And then we we'll start improving on that. Count primes. Oh, count, okay. Okay, so count prime mm -hmm. three hundred nine times. Okay, so no, no, I need this. Um, no. Okay, let me just check what gets printed now. Okay, now I need to make an if statement. Okay. 
Okay. But now let's try it in. No. What is really in? Can you put any print mm -hmm. st statements outside the um, the if? Now your only print statement that you put is inside the if, so you cannot really know if 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 this while is actually even working or not. So after oh. the count plus plus, just put any print statement that uh, prints the count. So at least you like know be before the bracket. Or... Uh, um, after the line before the bracket. After line okay. one eight eight. Okay. Okay, so at least we know that this while is actually running. Yeah. Okay. Now um what is um, your problem now? A lot of things. Um one one by one. Now I'm trying to check. Uh, that when I that if it's true, you'll just give me the count. So you'll just give me, you'll give me, I'm hoping you'll give me like, for example, for this, uh, uh, when you input 24, you will give me 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23. That's what I'm trying to get first. But, uh, I got some problems here. I'm using number here, but I don't even have a uh, oh yeah, this num is, if this num is 24, yeah, I'm getting 25, why? So you, you are me. getting 25, uh, but if you put the print statement before the count, uh, it will give you until 24. So if you put the print statement on line uh, 187, Okay. Uh, it will not give you uh one to uh, twenty five. It will give you twenty four. Just put it pre pre press enter. And yes, and run then. 
So it will give you two, from two until 24. So that's the correct way. It is just that it, when you put it after the, the plus plus, it means that um, you didn't see the initial value of count. You see, you see the value after it was incremented by one. That, that is the, the difference only. Right, okay. So you are somehow on the correct path. You just need to find a way to do your logic. So I'm questioning why didn't this work? Why okay. is this not printing out all that is true? Why is it printing out this instead of this? Okay, and, and oh. my question to you now is prime contains what? The variable prime contains what? Contains this, the true or false. Okay, right. so what is the num? What is the value of num? 24. Okay, yeah, 24. fine. Oh, you, yeah, you, 24. This, okay. okay, so this value is 24. So it is checking if if 24 is prime or not. But the yeah. ca count prime is actually not, not saying like that. It is saying that you should count from 20. So you should check. You should pass to the to is prime numbers from two until twenty four. He is telling you from two until n, and n is the input that you pass it to to here. So n is a num. So we should check. So we should call is prime for two, and we should call it for three, and we should call it for four. And should call it for five until we reach num. Num here in this case is 24. So it means that this line somehow need to be inside the loop because you have to call it a few times. And every time you call it, you go and check this if condition. Did I make sense or it's still confusing? Yeah, makes sense. So I want to call it with count. If I want to be each, I have to call it with count, but then I need to put it inside in the loop. So I need to call. So meaning I don't need this at all, right? No, you don't. I just need this. And I just need a... Okay. You need you need to rewrite your if condition. Yeah. Oof. Mm, how to do this? Okay. So I have this. So this, I don't know what to do with this now. There is two ways to do that. A complex way. And a simple way. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm just thinking on what to do. Okay, you're correct. I told you, your first try is always correct. This is correct. Okay. So it means that mm -hmm. the output of is prime will be compared to true or false. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Something is coming out, right? Yeah, I don't want to print this uh how oh, why is it being printed out huh? oh because i'm returning i'm you, calling it yes you're calling is prime and is prime is is printing so out I something just need to yes it's possible yes yeah but i'm gonna make uh because i want yeah so i'm gonna copy it and just make is prime too Okay, fine. Okay, now I need uh now I need to get just that. So it means if that is true, I don't want to print out count. 
I want to print out. Okay, wait, let's see. So I need to do the same thing I did earlier. And integer uh one five equals zero and then instead of this I'll just put one oh one one and then down here. Oh, oops. Okay. Hmm, that is excellent. Um, so what you have done is actually um, extra nice and correct, but uh, just mm -hmm. this is uh, not being used. So we should try to remove it. But even if you put it also, it doesn't, it doesn't matter, but it's not Wait, correct. Wait, you mean the, the, the e statement the can else. be by itself? Yes. yes. I thought it always needs an else. No. No. Oh. Then okay. Even for this or so, I don't need. Else. It depends on the condition. If you need to print something with the, inside the else or return false, in this case, Sorry, no. you need to put it. Yeah. But here, no. For but example, here, yes, yeah. this factor tool, you don't need that. Okay. Okay. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. So I want to make sure or stress here on something that you understand now that we can keep calling and building methods. So we build a method that do something, and then we make use of that method to to move to a next stage to to do a more advanced fun functionality. So we find is prime, mm -hmm. and then we call is prime. You understand now that this is is prime and count primes uh, yeah. and still uh, use and call count factors. Do you understand that? Mm. Yeah. So, so it means that when you keep building methods, you are able to uh, actually keep calling them in advanced functions. So you, you, you will reach a way that one of your methods that you build, you'll find yourself uh, maybe calling three or four methods that you build, simple methods that you built earlier. Um, yeah. And so, okay, now let us move to the next challenge. Okay. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Let me share. Okay. Wait, I can't. Yeah, I, I have okay. to stop sharing. I can't stop sharing. It's not responding. Oh, really? Yeah, I need to try to respond. Okay. Program to respond. Ooh. You can exit and, and join again? Yeah, okay. I think now can, okay. right? Okay. Now I'm not sharing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. Okay. So I want to understand yeah. from you, if you, we, if we want to, um, to write a while loop to print the numbers from one to, from zero to 100 with increments of five with a space, mm. how is this achievable? 
Okay. So use a while loop to print numbers. So you don't use... Okay. So it means 0, 5, 10, yes. 15, 20. Yes. How okay. can we do that? Okay. Okay. Let me try. So this, the, I don't need to make it a method, right? No, you don't need to. Okay. Or do I start zero or do I start from one? Start from one, right? From zero. Oh, from zero. Okay, from zero. Oh, okay. This is easy, right? Really? I've done it? All uh, right, let me check. There you go. Am I done? Yeah, done. Okay, good. And so we move to the next, which is... Yeah. Use a while loop to print numbers from 20 down to 1 across the screen with a space with uh, between each number. Ooh. Okay, how do I get it to count back? Oh, can, can. Wait. So, 20. So, this needs to be... Like that. Whoa. Oh, no. My method went on for infinity or something. Okay. I mean, this should be one. No. Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. Done? No. Counting backwards, let me see. You can share your screen then. Yeah, one second, let me just okay. Oh, okay. I got Done. it. Wait. Okay. Uh, Good. I need this to be zero. Wait, because I only got until two. Let me try and get until one. Okay, yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay, done. done. Good. Uh, so the last one would be that we would like to uh, use a while loop to print the string uh, computer 15 times. Okay. Okay. So we close and open again. Okay. 